The Hudson Bay Lowland region first started to form during the Paleozoic era when the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea occurred. When the Pleistocene Epoch, also known as the Last Ice Age, ended 11,700 years ago, the glacier ice of the Hudson Bay started to melt. A depression that had been formed in the Canadian Shield due to the heavy ice started to melt as well. The water retreated down the lowlands to the bay carrying along silt, sand, a clay which over the years were compressed into sedimentary rocks. Effects of global warming on the region The Hudson Bay Lowlands was one of the last cold regions in the north to get affected by global warming. Until mid-1990s, the region was cold due to a bottleneck of lots of ice in the bay that kept the whole region surrounding it cold. About 15 years ago, it reached a tipping point where the ice started to slowly melt and has caused a rise of 3 degrees Celsius in the area. Global warming has negative effects on many things. 1. There are shorter winters, therefore shorter ice. This is bad because the Hudson Bay Lowlands is a region that is constantly cold and the animals and plants that live in it are used to cold. 2. With warmer temperatures, the water evaporates and lowers the levels of water, which has negative effects on marine life, land, flora, and fauna. 3. With some ponds disappearing and some wetlands drying up, some species may die, which will lead to other species dying and it will cause a whole chain reaction of events. Aboriginal people of the Hudson Bay area known as 3, 2, 1, Subarctic peoples. Next question. True or false, the climate is always below 20 degrees Celsius. 3, 2, 1, true.